The Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory at the National Science Foundation's Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station in Antarctica, the world's largest neutrino detector. A cubic kilometer of clear ice, armed with more than 5,000 light sensors arranged in a grid beneath the South Pole. One of its missions is to help solve a hundred-year-old riddle. Where do cosmic rays come from? To do that, it looks for cosmic sources of high-energy neutrinos. Cosmic rays are high-energy charged particles born like neutrinos in some of the most cataclysmic events in the universe. But where cosmic rays are knocked around by the powerful magnetic fields that permeate interstellar and intergalactic space, neutrinos are ghostly subatomic particles that can travel usually unhindered in a straight path through galaxies, stars, and anything else nature throws in their path. So find a source of neutrinos, and you might have found a source of cosmic rays as well. The challenge? Neutrinos rarely interact with matter. But whenever a neutrino does happen to collide head-to-head -head with atomic particles of an ice molecule inside or near the Ice Cube Observatory, it creates secondary particles that, in turn, create a cone of blue light that Ice Cube sensors detect. And that's what happened on September 22, 2017. Ice Cube's alert system flashed coordinates of a potential source of that neutrino to many telescopes worldwide to follow up with observations. And multi-messenger astrophysics went to work, scanning these coordinates for more information. Fermi, a NASA gamma-ray space telescope which had already observed enhanced gamma-ray activity from a blazar at these coordinates, and the Major Atmospheric Gamma Imaging Cherenkov Telescope, or MAGIC, in the Canary Islands, looked in the direction the neutrino came from and detected a burst of high-energy gamma rays from the blazar. These converging observations could mean only one thing. The blazar was the source of that neutrino. A blazar is a giant galaxy with a massive, rapidly spinning black hole at its core and twin laser-like jets of elementary particles and light that shoot out from the poles along the axis of the black hole's rotation. And it seems that one of those jets was oriented towards our planet Earth. Because this blazar produces cosmic gamma rays and neutrinos, we now have evidence of a source that produces cosmic rays as well, thanks to multi-messenger astrophysics that helped solve a hundred-year-old problem and revealed significant insights into objects and events far more powerful than any we will ever witness on Earth.